What is up guys, The Casey's here, and today we're getting into the last episode of the social media app, I'm hoping, uh, because I think we just have like a couple things to do, and we will be done. Uh, posting some videos later on this week, um, they're of apps that my friends have made, kind of like reviewing them. One of them I've already opened, so it kind of wrecked it, but you guys haven't seen it yet, so it should be a good video. And uh, the other one is another one of my friends I haven't opened yet, so we'll see, review those. If you guys have apps that you've made, uh, leave a little comment below with a link to the iTunes uh, app, and I'll check those out, and perhaps I'll do a review on your app, but let's get into this video right now. So, I think what we are doing, like, uh, like last time I kind of forgot, I've been doing a lot of stuff, so I think, okay, notification from iTunes Connect. Um, I think what we were doing is we were two comments. So th the comment button wasn't working and we have to add a action so that when you press on that button, then, uh, it sends data uh, of the post. Cause when we load the comments, it's loading a post key, I believe. So we have to pass the post key. So we need to create a variable, uh, well, no, we got selected post. Destination.post equals self.selected post. Oh, we got to uncomment this. Uh, selected post. Da no, 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 just like that, yeah. Um, else return, yeah. Uh, let's double check here. Um, I also think we didn't link up some stuff in this cell. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I forgot. So we'll uh, check it out together. Hopefully I'm not tripping. Okay. So in the cell, in the cell, we got, uh, to link up this comment button. There we go. So if, if it's not working, it should at least crash the application. But if it is working, then it should segue and work properly. And if it is working, we got the app finished. So we'll see. Uh, I'll be right back because it's gonna take a little while to load and I'll see you guys when the simulator is up. And we are back and the app is up now. So let's click on comments. Okay, so we have a crash. Um, we shall see what it is. Okay, okay. Um, what is it saying? Get comments. I was going to get comments. And then it's saying. So I'm guessing post dot post key. Okay. No. On the feed, we're passing. Are we setting the selected post? That's the question. So when we uh, press this button right here to create post, wait, wait a second. Oh, okay. So we got one problem. Uh, I'm in the share something part of the self road and next path. We need to copy this and we're gonna paste it in here. But instead of share button, we're gonna say share uh, comment button. So dot comment something. Hmm. Oh, 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 no, different cell. My bad. Um, otherwise, going in here. Oh, oh, okay, okay. My bad, my bad. Uh, so, when we're going to comments, we just need to set. Um, ooh. Yes, that's what our problem was. Um, 
we need to be able to figure out which cell is being selected based on the position of the button or whatever. Okay, um, so in two comments, above everything, we are going, here, let me uh, throw this up a little bit more. Okay, so we, we're, we're gonna create two variables, uh, button position, um, and this is going to equal sender, dot convert and I am copying this code I don't know this code off the top of my head um, I'm copying it from my own stuff but cg point uh, dot zero okay and then it's comma to table view perfect so that's our first one button position and then we're going to say let index path of type index path. I don't know if we have to do this. Um, I don't remember whose code this is, so I can't really give credit, I guess. If you look up this code uh, for the button position in the index path, if you just like copy that and paste it into uh, DuckDuckGo, Google, whatever you're using, uh, it should pop up on Stack Overflow, I believe. I really don't remember where I found it. Um, table view dot index path for row at, and the CG point is gonna be button position. And th this is really good code. Um, I only found it in that one place. I couldn't find it anywhere else. And it's very useful too. And then we'll just say, um, well, what's the variable selected? Selected post. Um, so, so, oh, oh, uh, I spelled send sender wrong up there. Um, selected post. It should equal. Um, we can just say posts. We're going through the array, and since we have the index um, right here, we can just use that right here. Next path. Save that and run it again. This should work. Uh, dot row. Oh, Y capital. Um, index path dot row. That's right, dot row. Because otherwise it's not an integer. Um, yes, we know we have that. Because otherwise there would no be there wouldn't be a button position. So basically the button position is being converted from a CG point to the table view, which I didn't know you could do. And then uh, basically now you're getting the table view cell um, index path at this position, which is pretty sweet. All right, so now if we click on comments, it does go over. To the comments, no crash. And then if we uh, want to share something, don't we just type here? Share now. There we go. So it's working. Um, one thing, so I'm gonna challenge you guys with a couple of things. Um, I know this video is pretty short, I'm guessing, I don't really know because of the delay where I cut out uh, all this stuff, um, but challenge for you guys. Uh, so as you see right now, uh, when I type something in, so GG, I click share now, I have to go back. So figure out a way, this is a simple challenge if you guys don't know how to do this, uh, if you know how to do it then you, you can do it easily. Um, well, when I press the share now button, I want it to post to the database and go back. I'll give you a hint. This is using a navigation controller, okay? So this isn't, you can't use dismiss view controller because it's not a navigation controller. You have to use something else. You guys do your research on that, figure that one out. And then when this view appears, you want it to reload the data. So you notice that uh, the GG is not there. But when I go back here and I press, oh, what the heck? 
All right, well, we gotta figure that out, I guess, then. <laughs> um, okay, so comments. Probably just a simple thing. Comments VC? Yeah. Uh, get comments, we're getting the comments, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, configure cell. Next path that row. Is this reversed or something? So it's reversed, I'm... Is it staying like that? Maybe there's something in the cell. Let's see here. Um, post text. It's gonna equal nothing. Oop. Okay. I'm not understanding why it would be doing that. Unless it's not getting the children. Let me go over here, double check a couple things. All right. I think I messed up right here. Uh, so number of rows in section is going to be post.count and the number of sections is gonna be one. Because number of sections is inside the cell, I believe, and the number of rows in section is like, and that's what messed up. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Sometimes you just gotta debug like this. Uh, I messed up pretty bad. I shouldn't have made that mistake for sure. Right, that's a cool little time right there. Okay. Alright, so there we go. Uh, that was my little mess up. There might be more. I don't know. If there is, leave a comment below. Um, so, you go in here, you type, uh, share now you come back here you want to reload it when the view appears that's a hint when the view appears you want to reload it okay and then um, when you press that comment button it goes back to this view. that's the challenge um, I hope you guys learned a lot in this video uh, if you guys did please leave a big like and subscribe to the channel it means a lot to me guys uh, I want to bring better content I know this may not be the best of best content but uh, I think it's pretty good it helps you guys out apparently you guys leave nice comments thank you for those and um, maybe some more fun videos we'll see what happens we'll see what I upload next uh, be looking out for those videos where I'm reviewing my friends apps and if you guys have any um, cool apps on the app store drop the itunes link if it's just a random link i'm not gonna click on it i promise uh the itunes link and i'll check that out and possibly make a video on it we will see but uh, thank you guys for watching the video thank you for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video